हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू मेल्ट द चॉकलेट विद प्रोसीजरल फ्लूड सिमुलेटर्स ऑफ जोमेट्री नोट्स यू कैन अप्लाई दिस इफेक्ट फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ पैटर्न पैटर्न कैन बी एमेज बेस्ड और यू कैन यूज अ प्रोसीजरल सेटअप फॉर दैट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट यू कैन गेट दीज फ्लूड सिमुलेटर्स फ्रॉम ब्लेंडर मार्केट फ्रॉम माई गमरोड पेज और फ्रॉम माई पैटर्न पेज वेन यू असाइन दिस फ्लूड सिमुलेटर एज एस एल लाइब्रेरी इन द ब्लेंडर प्रेफरेंस then you can add the flute simulator from the asset browser under this case tool category so in this case we going to use the flute simulator for grid car okay so you have the modifier and you have also the object so in this case we need the object let's change this to geometry nodes and press alt g to bring everything at the world center so we have this uh, modifier setup for the grid car Flute simulator. In this video, I am going to mainly cover the settings that are needed for this melting effect. However, in the flute simulator series, I have explained all these nodes in details and the settings of these nodes. Okay. So in this case, uh, we don't need these nodes, so we can delete them. Also, these. So the first thing is we need the grid. Okay. So let's change this to grid. so we have this grid so in the grid curve settings we can define the settings for the grid as well as for the grid which is based on the curve we going to make this resolution 0.015 in the final render i use the resolution 0.01 okay and uh, let me also disable these particles so here you can change the grid length and width to create a different shape for your chocolate okay so i'm going to use this square grid let's close this section and in the initialization we going to first use the fast solver and second we going to use the closed boundary okay the fluid going to collide with the this boundary of this grid so if we go to the material preview we have this pattern based on this texture so let's define the color let's add the mix color node first color we going to use black and second color we going to use green later in this video i'll explain why we need these different colors and here you can use an image to define the pattern just add the image texture and then you can add the image let's maybe use this crystal now we need to define the mapping for this vector so we can use this node this is the fluid info node it basically provide all the necessary attributes of the fluid so in this case we need the uv map of the grid see we have this crystal based pattern so in this way you can define the pattern based on the image so for this example we going to use the procedural setup to define the grid pattern so we going to use the wave texture let's plug that into the vector so we have these lines and if we duplicate this one change this to y we have the lines along the horizontal and if we mix them we have the pattern that grid pattern see and here we can add the value node to bring this scale and let's also hide the unwanted inputs and here we can add the ramp node to fine tune the pattern so let's change this to flip so we have this pattern and with this you fine tune the pattern okay now we have this grid pattern so let's first fix this collider so let me go to the solid mode so we going to use the icosphere for the collider something like that then we going to scale down the path of this collider so here okay and we can also delete this curve because it is not needed now we have this and we are done with this initialization settings in the external we need to change this color to red okay let's run the simulation you can see that uh, the this icosphere is pushing the fluid in the backward direction but we need the effect like it is dragging the fluid with itself 
so we need this velocity to be positive and also around 1.5 so now let's rerun the simulation nice so now let's displace this grid based on the color and also based on this pressure wave okay we're going to add the set position node here we're going to add the scale vector scale node and then we need the mix node and we're going to displace this grid along the z-axis so let's define one here and connect this to the set material node and here we're going to also add the multiply node math node change this to multiply so that we can control the height of these pattern and we're going to mix this with the pressure around this factor and this should be around 0.2 okay so we have this so if i run the simulation see so why we mix the pressure so let me show you the just pressure so this is the pressure wave so i want some of the details in the deformations of this grid that's why i mix the small amount of pressure with the color to add some details of that wave to this melting effect so now we have this displacement section in the internal i think we have to add small amount of dam factor so that the effect of this icosphere is limited to this region okay not very far from the icosphere so it is only affecting this pattern of this grid not the pattern which is far from the psychosphere you can even increase this if you need okay next thing is we have to add some width to this our chocolate bar so let's add the extrude node change this to edge and we're going to only extrude this outer edge so for that we need to define this selection and let's add the edge neighbor node and we are looking for the edges that has only one face see but we need to fix this deformation okay so let's make this a zero then we're going to add the set position node we're going to manually uh, set the position for this extruded edge and here we're going to add the separate node separate geometry and we're going to separate the edge that is just extruded see this one okay so first we're going to add the transform geometry node let's make this z axis zero so we have this flat and then we're going to push this down by 0.15 meter then add the proximity node change this to points and plug this into the position see we have this nice width to this bar okay so let's put this in our frame this is our displacement part and this is our width part for this chocolate bar okay this is so far the setup let's add the material uh, to this chocolate so first we're going to choose the hdr image i'm going to use this one okay and let's also align this with the camera something like that let's select this we have this material and this is the fluid info node for the material so it provides all the attributes of the fluid so in this case we need only the color so separate the colors so with this different colors we can separate them into a different masks and we can mix different materials for different part of the chocolate okay so let's add the color ramp node and then we're going to add the mix node mix color node use this as factor plug this into the base color and let's see so we have this white so we're going to use this brownish color 
something like that okay same for this and for this we can slightly increase the value 4.04 just a subtle variation for the melted chocolate and after that uh, we're going to add the multiply node and then add the noise texture plug this into the scale and for this we're going to use this uv map and let me show you the result from this noise texture see we have this kind of pattern so we're going to use this to mix these colors okay so let's duplicate this one and then add the multiply node again so we have this mask and with this multiply we have this mask let's use this one and let me show you the pattern for this it is very subtle uh, let me decrease the roughness let's slightly change the lighting condition see this slight variation in the color uh, let me run the simulation it is subtle but it is there you can add uh, more variations by playing with this uh, scale value so uh, i use around three uh, for the final rendering okay and next we're going to duplicate this node and use this for the roughness so let's switch this so our melter part going to have a zero roughness the solid part going to have a higher roughness maybe something like that okay and then uh, we can add the voronoi node let's connect this to the uv map change this to 2d then add the bump node and use this pattern so let me duplicate this again and then add the multiply node connect this to the this and we can use this for the strength of this bump node so let's make this a very subtle and increase this scale around 1000 just a small scale uh, pattern onto this chocolate bar see now let me fix this because i want a more detail to this so this is the overall setup for the material so if you want to add the particles you can just enable this node it's going to add the particles so for this we need to change the connection to this one because we have offset it the grid so we have these particles so with this you can control the number and here you can control the size of these particles here you can change the material of these particles and here you can change the settings like external settings which are similar to these settings of this node and you can also damp these particles okay so in this way you can add these uh, details based on the particles to the chocolate bar so this is the overall setup uh, for this melting chocolate effect so first we have created this pattern in the initialization we slightly damp the flute and then also add a different color based on this effector or the glider so after that we displaced the grid based on our this pattern and then we have also added the weight to this chocolate bar this step is only required if you are using this grid curve modifier however if you are using a fluid simulator for mesh and then you don't need to add this step you can properly define your model and then add this fluid effect okay So this is the material uh, for this chocolate. 
uh, one more thing you can add the hue node hue saturation node so with this you can easily uh, shift the color of your chocolate and you can also make it a dark chocolate okay you can get these project files and preset from my pattern page and i'm going to also add this project file to the preset which is available on the blender market or on my gumroad page so thank you for watching see you in the next video happy nodding bye